Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing a review on this product that I have been hearing a lot about actually and I was really interested in trying it myself because it is supposed to be like the most full coverage foundation ever but it doesn't look cakey and crazy. And that is the Dermacol foundation. This is basically a first impressions. I'm putting it on. The only thing I used with it was primer and no powder. So I'm gonna see how it is throughout the day, if it gets oily, if it separates, if there's any, um, if like the spots start showing up. I didn't even use concealer with this, only this, because it's supposed to be full, full, full coverage. Like cover tattoos coverage, so. We're gonna test it out. Remember, like and subscribe. Thank you. So I have the Dermacol right here and basically the claims of this is that it is full coverage, not cakey, like literally it can cover tattoos and marks and everything crazy. So I really wanted to test it out for myself and I got a color that is a little too light. Like I have fake tan on and I don't know if you can see the difference from my face to my neck. I don't tan my face. So I'm gonna have to bronze this look up a little bit, but it will still cover things which I think it's better that I didn't do tan on my face because you can see all the marks and we'll see if this really does cover so also has SPF 30 and it's waterproof and also hypoallergenic I think I'm gonna put it on with my Sigma flat kabuki and if it needs to I'm gonna get my beauty blender and blend it out I'm not going to put any concealer on I'm not gonna color correct which I would usually do because this is supposed to be full coverage and cover every single mark on your face without any help from anything else so why would i use anything else we're just gonna see how this goes one thing i am gonna do is prime with the angel veil just because i like to put a primer on and i would put it on with any other foundation i'm just not going to help the coverage or anything with a concealer or anything of that nature And the only thing that I so far have seen that I don't like about this is the color selection. It's really hard to figure out what your color is when you're buying it online. I had to look up a chart and I feel like I tried to order kind of a tan color because I knew I was going to do my fake tan and I want to do this video. And I looked at it when it came out and it's pretty pale. So, so I'm only going to get a little bit like... I mean maybe that's not a little little bit but I'm gonna try that and the one thing I don't like about this packaging is it will consistently come out like that if you like squeeze it out an accident it will come out so I have two globs I'm gonna try the smaller one the one that accidentally came out first and it feels thick but I mean it feels liquidy too like like hydrating not liquidy but pretty hydrating okay let's see and i barely put anything on just because i wanted to see like if how full coverage it would be with barely anything oh man this is so light and my the rest of my body is not this light okay so barely putting anything did a little bit but you can still clearly see all the marks on my face so I'm gonna go in with it was probably it looked like half a pump of like a liquid type of foundation okay It seems like most other foundations to me I've basically like put a little bit on my finger and I'm I'm going back for more right now because there's not enough coverage in my opinion so I got like this much more and I feel it doesn't feel heavy on your face that's one good thing it just is covering like a normal full coverage really in my opinion it says it was created for like movie makeup and I mean okay now I see it's covering pretty well but I had to do two layers it wasn't like a like a one layer and you're good kind of thing okay 
So, it is full coverage. And can y'all still see that mark? I can kind of still see it. I'm going to spot correct just in some areas that I feel need it. And I'm gonna let that dry down for a second like I would do with a concealer okay so I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just dab that that did a pretty good job like yeah that spot is pretty covered I just feel like it's buildable coverage it's not like you use one little bitty bitty dot and it's gonna like cover your whole face no you're gonna have to build it up so to me, it's like a good concealer that is easy to spread. Like, it feels very moisturizing and, like, I like the finish. It's kind of like a satin finish. It's not too shiny, but it's not matte or anything like that that you would expect from full coverage. It's got, like, a nice creamy consistency, and it feels slightly wet, not dry at all, but it really is great buildable coverage. And I say buildable because I had to use two layers and then I spot corrected with the few spots that I wanted. I'm going to go and finish the rest of my face and I will also check in later and see how well it lasted, if it gets oily and cracky or anything like that. I don't think that I'm going to powder it at all because I just want to see how it acts on its own with just a primer. Okay, so I finished my look and now I'm going to just go about my day. I'm going to check back in later tonight and see if this is still nice, flawless looking, if it gets oily or not. The only thing I put on it was primer. I didn't powder just because I wanted to see how it goes without a powder. So. I've been out and about for a few hours and I've been wearing this foundation. I didn't powder over it or anything like that. Um, it isn't, I don't know if y'all can see, it's not really like oily looking. Sometimes my skin will get really oily depending on if it's really hot and it's hot. I live in Houston so it's August. It is really hot outside, probably like 90s, I don't know. Um, I'm pretty positive it's in the 90s, but I don't see like oiliness or anything like that. It looks dewy to me. It doesn't look oily, so that's really good. The thing that I have an issue with is I can still see that mark, and I guess I just didn't build it up quite enough because I have watched other people do like a test on YouTube with the Dermacol and they ha look like they have like a mask on because they put so much so I think I just should have built it up a little bit more but yeah basically my overall verdict of it is I really like it it is full coverage it gives you a nice dewy finish and if you want to powder over it uh, you can definitely do that if you don't like the dewy finish um, I love that it's waterproof and has SPF 30 I love that like I'm all about sunscreen I wear SPF 50 sunscreen on my face and neck every single day and I love that this just gives me an added layer of sunscreen so I really hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and join me in my next video